Auntie Belle here to tell you the stuff that you'll need to do the maple syrup exit, the thing, the science experiment thing. So you'll need butter pan like stuff. You'll need maple syrup. You'll need a measuring cup. You'll need me and my sister have two spatulas since there's two of us, but you only do need one spatula. We have a candy thermometer and we have a very big spoon. We have a pot and we have two silver just one-time use pans to put the candy. Hi, I'm Mac and today we're making maple candy to show you how crystals form. And my hypothesis is that if we pour half of the mixture into each one of these pans, put one on the counter and put one in the fridge, that the one in the fridge, the crystals will form smaller because they're free because they'll freeze faster. And that the ones on the counter, the crystals will be bigger. And of course, my sister thinks the exact opposite because you know she thinks she wants to think the exact opposite of what I think. Okay, we're ready to start our experiment. I had we had our mom or your parent, you know, spray these with Pam so the maple candy doesn't stick to them. And the pot has also been sprayed with the Pam. Okay, and now we're going to fill this up with two cups of pure maple syrup. We're going to use four cups, but we can only do them two at a time. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, alright, we'll so finish. now this is our sec our next two cups of maple syrup that we are going to pour into this thingy. This pot, it's not a thingy. Okay, so now, okay, 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 okay. So now, this is an induction cooktop. It's just like your regular oven. We're gonna put, turn it on to medium, and then we're, and then we're gonna um, slowly start to stir it, stir it, as the water evaporates from the maple syrup. And once the water starts to evaporate, the syrup is gonna bubble and you just want to keep stirring it slowly because if you stop stirring it, then the maple syrup is going to fall and it's going to burn. And we'll temperature, be back. temperature. Oh, the temperature you want to get it up to with your candy thermometer is a 270 degrees. Okay, now we'll be back. Okay, so. Oops, Jimmy. Okay, so we just turned the induction cooktop on. Now, as you can see, our thermometer is only at 76.3 degrees. Let me see that. We'll be back. We will be back when it is start to bubble. As you can see, the maple candy solution is beginning to foam and boil. That means the water is beginning to evaporate and the temperature is 199.8 right now, almost 200 degrees. And our goal temperature was 270. Can I turn the pan? Mm -hmm. So. Okay. The solution got up to 250. Um, now it, it, the foam has like immediately gone down, and, and then what we are going to pour it into this pan. So we just poured half of the solution into this pan, and the pan is hot, so I'm using little tools to hold it, and we're putting it in the refrigerator. Now I think that the crystals would be smaller because the maple solution cooled faster, but my dear sister thinks I'm the dear sister. What do you think? Oh, I think that they're going to be bigger. We're going to set a timer for 10 minutes. And we're going to let this solution cool inside this. Then after 10 minutes, we're going to pour it into this pan. And then we're going to leave it for another hour to make sure that all the crystals are good. And what temperature should that be? And the temperature that that should be is 175. No, just 170. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. The solution is now cooled to 170 degrees. And we're now going to pour it into this little pan. Yay! And then we are going to let it sit on the counter for an hour while the other one sits in the fridge for an hour. And then we will see which one crystallizes, which one has the smallest crystals, the one that's in the fridge or the one that's in the counter. We'll be back here with our finished science experiment, our maple candy experiment, and we did the experiment to show you how crystals are formed. This is the crystal, the maple candy that we left on the counter, so it was it hardened at room temperature. And my sister is eating the candy she was supposed to display for you. This is the one we put in the fridge. 
Now you actually can see tiny square, it looks like cubes of sugar in the maple candy. And as you can see, it's very, very gooey. Yeah, and you can see the tiny little cubes. Actually, we did discover, we did discover that the maple candy that we left on the counter has larger cubes than the one in the freezer. So my hypothesis was correct. <laughs> Okay, bye.